The Japanese mobility manufacturing company Kawasaki took the world by storm when they revealed their hydrogen-powered four-legged robotic horse during the 2025 Osaka Kansai Expo. By swapping Corleo's internal engine from the typical fuel-based engine to one that runs on clean energy like hydrogen, this robot eliminates one of the biggest controversies surrounding AI. Beyond its energy-efficient engine, another reason the world is talking about Corleo is because of its impressive mobility. As part of the company's Mobility Instincts umbrella, Corleo is the perfect cross between a modern motorcycle and a real-life stallion. In other words, riders get the best of both worlds, with a motorcycle that can jump over logs and climb rocks with ease. To demonstrate these impressive abilities, there's even a video on Kawasaki's YouTube channel showing a human rider enjoying a scenic ride through the forest and on the very edge of a cliff after easily scaling a mountainous path. These achievements are even more spectacular when you stack them against other robotic companies that are still trying to get their quadruped bots to walk without tripping. It's essentially Kawasaki showing off that their robotic steed is ahead of the herd. I think it would make for an excellent outdoor riding experience, but would you consider riding one of these? Comment down below so I can see your thoughts. The mechanics behind Corleo's impressive ability to remain stable across different surfaces lie in its physical features. For starters, each of its legs operate separately, unlike modern motorcycles that use a swing arm to connect the rear wheels. That means each leg can adjust its height, angle, and timing based on the surface it's stepping on, making for better balance and traction. Its adaptive hooves, which come with slip-resistant rubber, also make it easier to walk more smoothly, closely mimicking the way a real animal would walk through the woods or rocky terrain. Another advantage of each leg moving separately is that Corleo can absorb shocks from bumps in the road better. This minimizes the risk of tipping over and injuring the rider while walking over gravel, rocks, or even crossing through water because, of course, it's waterproof. This extra bit of precision echoes the company's corporate philosophy, which on their website reads, We pledge to ensure day-to-day -day safety and to bring about an exciting future by constantly tackling challenges in craftsmanship and technological innovation. And sounds like they did exactly that. Speaking to the exciting bit, with a 150cc hydrogen engine, Corleo is a powerful vehicle that comes with all the thrills of riding a motorcycle. For nighttime riders, the robot projects arrow-pointed illuminated markers on the terrain ahead, just like a video game keeping you safe and on the right track. Its inbuilt intuitive control also automatically detects the rider's weight with high-tech sensors embedded in the stirrups and handlebars and responds with minimal delay. This instinctive feature enhances your connection with the robot, which creates a prime opportunity for you to create an emotional attachment to it, just like you would with a pet. Even if Corleo doesn't have humanoid features, there's no doubt in my mind that people will inevitably form a bond with it. For example, in the video's comment section, a user shared, I am a disabled person using a wheelchair. It is difficult for me to visit nature, and I have been thinking of this technology for years. This can be life-changing for me, to be able to be in the mountains or forests. Human technology should be used in this way, not in wars. The last bit of their sentence inevitably brings me towards the dark side of hydrogen-powered technology. Energy-efficient engines are capable of powering more than just mobility aids and joy rides. Recently, an Israeli startup drone company, Heaven, announced their plans to switch to hydrogen as a renewable energy solution with the intention to deliver extended flight times. Their most relevant model toward this revolutionary shift is the new hydrogen-powered UAS, which could be a game-changer in warfare. One website even dubbed it the Beast Military Drone because of its amazing ability to fly for 10-plus hours uninterrupted, carry 50 pounds, and deliver 1,000 hours of durability. For context, the more widely used RQ-11 Raven can only manage about an hour and a half of flight time and has a much smaller payload at 4.2 pounds. Despite having a faster setup time at 10 minutes compared to the UAS's 15, its durability is barely a third at 300 hours max. 
In other words, the Raider UAS outperforms other military drones in a landslide, making it the big dog across surveillance, search and rescue, or tactical support. That's a scary disparity if you're on the opposing team, and for the Israeli-American founder and CEO, Ben Zion Levinson, that's exactly the intention. He shared, with its unparalleled endurance, substantial payload capacity, and hydrogen-powered sustainability, Raider unlocks new possibilities for reconnaissance, tactical operations, and logistics. By moving towards hydrogen drones and redefining the industry standards for military efficiency, Levinson hopes to gain an edge over China's primarily lithium-ion models. According to the CEO, who served in a 17-month military campaign in the Middle East, I came back to work at the drone startup I founded a couple of years ago with the urgency and need to take action and provide the best tech for the most complex missions, as drones are reshaping modern global warfare and can get Israeli soldiers out of harm's way. However, they're not the only country looking to protect their citizens with more efficient drones. In fact, they're not even the first to do it. In late 2024, Ho Green Air, a South Korean-based firm, unveiled a high-speed, long-range hydrogen fuel cell drone with even more endurance than the Raider UAS. This drone can reportedly fly up to 14 hours, although its max payload is less than half of Raider's at 20 pounds. Despite this shortcoming, Ho Green Air's hydrogen drone is still a force to be reckoned with for its insane 5,800-mile range. For context, the controllers of the unmanned aerial vehicle were able to remotely fly it to Germany while maintaining contact thanks to its 5G communication system. That shows hydrogen-powered drones aren't just energy efficient, they're also the future of long-distance and undercover missions. With hydrogen power taking over the land and air, if you're skeptical about this new technology, it may seem like your best bet is to build a boat and sail away. But not so fast. Even before Kawasaki's robot horse and Heaven's Raider UAS came on the scene, the Norwegian company Norled started experimenting with liquid hydrogen to produce the MF Hydra. As the world's first liquid hydrogen-powered ferry, the MF Hydra is at the forefront of hydrogen naval transport. Operated by the Torgotten, the MF Hydra works as a courier and passenger vessel for the country. But Norway isn't alone in looking to hydrogen fuel cells to command their waterways. China also witnessed a breakthrough in this technology back in 2023 when the country produced its first hydrogen-powered ship. The Three Gorges Hydrogen Boat No. 1 made its maiden voyage in October of that year, seven months after its launch, and has since become an essential part of the city's inland transportation within the Hubei province. It even plays a role in patrol and emergency response thanks to a 500-kilowatt hydrogen fuel cell that pushes it to incredible speeds. Another country making strides in the maritime department is the UK through the Plymouth-based company ACUA Ocean. This company designed one of the country's very first autonomous uncrewed surface vessels, USVs, putting them on the map for their innovation. For context, most maritime vessels need at least one human crew member, and the few USV that exist have limited commercial viability due to their low endurance or restricted payload capacity. However, ACUA Ocean's USV isn't bound by those restrictions. By relying on hydrogen power, this ship can overcome the first limitation with an impressive offshore endurance that covers a range of 8,400 nautical miles. With a maximum speed of five knots, it can independently monitor and collect ocean data while sending information back to base on the shore. In the long run, Aqua Ocean can't attribute its growing popularity to its performance alone. As a hydrogen-powered vessel, their USV is the ideal alternative solution to diesel-powered USVs that leave a much larger carbon footprint and pollute the planet. Hydrogen-powered USVs are safer for the environment, without compromising payload capacity like wind or wave-powered USVs often do. And since the UK is one of the countries trying to achieve net-zero carbon emissions by 2050, Aqua Ocean offers them a viable solution without having to sacrifice efficiency. 
Since it also has an incredible payload of 6.5 tons, the USV can carry all its needs for its missions in one go. Its highly advanced and sensitive sensors also make it the perfect technology to monitor critical national infrastructure. Of course, hydrogen-powered vessels are useful for more than national security. Private individuals are also buying into the hype for pleasure. For example, billionaire tycoon Bill Gates made headlines when he commissioned the world's first hydrogen fuel cell super yacht. He unveiled his massive ship, Project 821, in Amsterdam, revealing that it cost over $644 million to complete the project. As the first of its kind, the yacht is a miniature town featuring 12 guest staterooms, a hospital, library, cinema, and accommodation for 44 crew members. As you can imagine, keeping this massive ship afloat and running requires a lot of electricity, and to that end, Project 821 looks to hydrogen-powered cells to fulfill most of its needs. According to Edmiston, the CEO of the company behind the yacht's brokerage company, the brief was to build the greenest and most environmentally advanced yacht ever built without compromise. He admitted that achieving such a feat was a huge challenge, and Bill Gates had to turn to two companies, RWD and Feedship, to make it a reality. Hopefully, similar partnerships can work together to do the same for private jets, one of the biggest contributors to climate change. To that end, AMSL Aero's Vertia aircraft is already leading the charge. From the land down under, AMSL Aero is an Australian-based company that's leaning toward utilizing hydrogen to power their aircrafts. Although their first untethered flight didn't take place till late November 2024, plans for its design date back to 2020. Four years earlier, the company's co-founder, Andrew Moore, announced that the company had only finished 20% of the subscale and full-scale models. Over the next three years, the team worked to build the full-scale prototype of the Vertia aircraft and announced in 2023 that they expected it to become certified and fly medical missions. Its launch was met with major enthusiasm as many saw it as a major advancement in response time for the provision of medical care to vulnerable areas in Australia. The current version is an electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft that the company hopes will carry passengers and cargo and not just first aid boxes. Coupled with the fact that the latest models use hydrogen power, these aircraft are also zero-emission flights, making them ideal for urban and regional transportation. That's why I'm not surprised that despite waiting on their certificate from the company's Civil Aviation Safety Authority, they've already started taking pre-orders. Currently, customers have made deposits for more than 26 Vertia, including aviation logistics companies like Airlink and AirMed. That indicates that there's a market for green aircrafts in our airspace, especially those specifically designed to meet emergency medical needs. Besides its sustainable power source, AMSL Aero shows that they know their market by designing its features to suit Australian conditions. For example, Vertia stands out from other EVTOLs because of its unique V-tail design, making it faster and even safer. Of course, that's not by accident, as the company intentionally set out to use a boxwing configuration to reduce drag and enhance its efficiency. As a result, Vertia is capable of covering a 1,000-kilometer range at 300 kilometers per hour, making it one of the fastest EVTOLs on the market. You'd think with all these perks, the maintenance costs would be insane, but that couldn't be further from the truth. According to their website, Vertia's operating costs are 70% lower than other helicopters, making it the smart choice from any lens you want to look at. With plans to begin testing in 2025 and commercial flights in 2027, they could easily dust the competition. The only notable company looking to give them competition in the hydrogen-powered industry is the popular aircraft company Airbus. One of their concepts, the Airbus Zero E turboprop, is meant to run on liquid hydrogen while carrying over 100 passengers. Ideally, its propulsion should have two modified gas turbine engines that use zero-emission hydrogen combustion. 
In theory, these powerful engines should last over 1,000 nautical miles, putting it leagues ahead of the Zero Avia ZA600. The Zero Avia ZA600 is a UK-based hydrogen gas-fueled aircraft that covers only 300 miles. But with its first flight taking place in 2023, it's already more than a concept. Although the company has plans to expand, it's only useful for short-haul commercial flights right now and carries only 19 passengers. Given how many companies are investing millions of dollars into hydrogen-powered ships, aircraft, and robots, it's only a matter of time before they outnumber their less efficient and less sustainable counterparts. What do you think about using hydrogen to power robots, military drones, and air- or waterbound modes of transport? Are there potential downsides to using a more efficient energy source to power these robots? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and please remember to like and subscribe.